This lens is incredible. It really is. It's one of the best lenses I've ever used in my life. The Viltrox 16mm f1.8. Today we're talking about this brand new lens from Viltrox. It is super wide, it is 16mm, it is full frame, it has an f1.8 aperture, it's autofocus and really fast autofocus, silent autofocus, and believe it or not, at 16mm it has no distortion. I have no idea how they did it. This is the view on the Sony ZV-E1 in standard stabilization. So it's base light stabilization off, so it is at 16 millimeters right here. This is the Sony ZV-E1 with active stabilization, and I can see myself pretty well. It's cropped in a little bit, and it's gonna work a lot better than the standard stabilization. It's not bad. For 16 mil at an arm's length with a Mantis pod from PGY Tech on, it looks good. This is the Sony ZV-E1 with dynamic stabilization, so you can still vlog on it, but it might feel a little bit too tight. As you can see, I'm walking around. This is the place where I normally fly my drone because this is a drone fly zone, which is green. Hardly any focus breathing. The focus breathing is next to non-existent. Just like the rest of the lenses, hardly any focus breathing. F1.8, super fast autofocus. It works with eye autofocus, face autofocus. You're paying $1 per gram because it weighs 550 grams. So it costs $550, which is an excellent price for a lens like this. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, that is a lens information panel. It's going to tell you if you're on autofocus or manual focus. It's going to tell you if you're using A to B stops, because you can program an A stop and you can program a B stop. And if you press it, it'll go between A and B stops, which is great. Because you can go between them. So if you perfectly set a stop, on a tree and the other stop on a person's face and you press it it's going to go between them it's like your own personal focus puller the actual panel will also show you how far your subject is away and not only that depending on your f-stop it will show you what's in focus at what distance that's that's it's it's a great little thing it is usb-c upgradable so when viltrox bring out a new update plug it in upgrade it yeah, I mean, all this $550, it uses 77 millimeter filters. So if you're like me and you have 82, you're just gonna need a, you know, adapter to slide it on there. And you know, 77 to 82 is just one step with the adapters. So that's really, really great. It's all metal. So this thing is everything about it. You hold it and you're like, whoa, that is a serious lens. It really is. It has an AF to MF switch. So if you wanna, you can switch and you're in manual focus for your sexy B-roll. It has a FN1 button, which is basically your autofocus lock. So you press it and your autofocus is locked. And the FN2 is for setting your A to B stops. If you set them, say you're on A and you want a different one, you're gonna press and hold it until you see on a little screen, it go green, then you've set your brand new A stop. If you go to B, do the same thing, change your focus, Press it and hold it, it will go green and now you've got A to B sub set. It has a de-clickable aperture, so on the side you have a little click. You can... Or you can... It's pretty cool. It's basically got everything that you need as a filmmaker, as a photographer, including next to zero distortion, which I took it out of the box and I'm like, yeah, okay, let's have a look at what this is. And I set it up on my chart and I was blown away. I was expecting it to barrel somewhere, but it is straight as can be. It is more or less sharp from f1.8. You know, obviously the corners are a little bit, you know, a little bit soft. But once you pop it up to 2.8, 4, you've got like sharpness all over the place, like razor sharpness. So it is a very sharp lens, which makes it great for things like landscapes. For portraits, it's a little bit too wide, but you could sure use it for fashion. For vlogging, this is a vlogging lens. I mean, holding it on the ZV-1 and vlogging is really simple. You don't even need to have, a, you know, a Joby or a Mantis pod. You can basically hold it and vlog with this setup. And it feels really nice in hand because the ZV-1 isn't too big and it's full frame. 
It's, it's a really nice combo, this and this together. Now, it's got nine aperture blades, and its minimum focus is 27 centimeters, which is not far at all. It's really close, and at minimal focus, it looks really, really nice. There is a lot of out of focus going on in the background, so that's really great. There are 15 elements in 12 groups, and when it comes to the autofocus, it's noiseless. It's got a noiseless STM motor. So basically, you're autofocusing at ridiculous lightning fast speeds, and you can't hear a thing, which is great, obviously, for filmmakers, because some lenses, this, can't hear a thing. So that's really great about this lens. Another thing with it is that it is fully weather sealed. It has actually a nice kind of a, a rusty orange gasket around the side. So this thing is fully weather sealed. You don't have to worry about shooting in the rain. Apparently the um, ZV-1 is moisture and dust proof like the A7S 3 which is interesting. So going out, you know, you don't have to worry about this setup at all. The f-stop goes from f1.8 to f22, which is great for you landscape photographers out there. You can get some really nice shots with this, and you know, you can get everything in focus with a 16mm lens. That is quite, you know, important. But it was also great that you can really have nice out-of-focus bokeh and get things looking a little bit more cinematic, you know? The lens information panel is pretty fantastic. Like I said, it's going to give you your object distance, your aperture, your A to B presets, and it will show you your focus depending on your f-stop. Now, the A to B is basically like focus pulling. So you press it, it pulls. You press it, it pulls again. So, you know, I mean, it does click. So when you're pressing it, you're going to have to... You're going to hear a little click, which is... You know, it's a little bit annoying. It'd be really cool if we could program the FN2 button and, you know, press it on the actual camera and get it to, you know, do it with a button or with the Creators app. That would be fantastic. Then we could pull focus just by, you know, pressing the Creators app. Now, when it comes to low light, you know, it's an F1.8 lens, so you can use it at nighttime and you don't have to be worried about, you know, pushing your ISO up too much. For portraits, like I said, a little bit too wide. And when it comes to autofocus speed, it is lightning fast. So if you're filming yourself, you don't have to worry about ever being out of focus because it is like, it is basically like that. So dynamic mode crops in a little bit too much, but active and standard are perfect for this. I mean, who needs all that stabilization anyway? If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you did like my video, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And you know, about. Using it for about a month, very, very happy with it. Thanks, Viltrox. Blown away what you've done with this, and I cannot wait to see what you're doing next. I'm already, already praying to the lens gods that you guys bring out a zoom lens, because I'm betting that'll be off the charts.